And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review... Citizen Kane. Oh my god, this is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life! Why is it everybody always says this is the greatest movie of all time? It's bullcrap! This movie blows monkeys! I mean, say what you want about early 1940s cinematography and how this film was a breakthrough in cinematic development, but for me, these low-angle camera shots seem to shine of a certain kind of pretentiousness. And it's obvious this person's life is supposed to be parallel to that of William Randolph Hearst. This obvious one-sided portrayal of the man's life is unfounded! Yes, Hearst had faults, but what man didn't? Some would say that a certain filmmaker named Orson Welles was also a little bit of an egomaniac. At least William Randolph Hearst didn't eat himself into explosions! Explosionism? Is that even a word? It should be! Ooh, I get it. The low angle shots are supposed to symbolize that even though Citizen Kane lost the election, he is still ironically a large man. Very subtle. And how dare you attack his wife, Marion Davies? She was often perceived as a know nothing actress, but in actuality, she had a very intelligent mind. She had a wonderful sense of humor. And she even knew how to take certain criticism from certain filmmakers with grace and ease. Which is more than I can say for you, Mr. Wells. And how about that hammered in scene where he's looking at two mirrors, obviously? showing a reflection of a reflection. Yes, I know that when you look in the mirror, all you can see is yourself, and so you're forced to look into the depths of your own soul. I don't care if people say that Citizen Kane is to the cinematic world what Shakespeare was to the theatrical world. It's cow cookie! That's right, I said cow cookie! And then trying to recant at the end by trying to show it's because he had no childhood? Through that obvious, not very subtle symbol. I'm sorry, Mr. Wells, it doesn't work after what you've taken away from that man! Perhaps you should take your own cinematic perceptive and point it at your own soul! And seeing how you're dead? That's probably the only thing you can point at that! Citizen Kane sucks! The sooner we realize this, the sooner we can move on to making greater cinematic masterpieces! Let's speed racer! Go speed racer, go! This is Chester E. Bum saying, Change! You got change! Ah, oh, come on, help a guy out, will ya? Come on, change! Well, could you at least 